Once upon a time, Switzerland was home to large numbers of big predators like bears, wolves, and lynx. But the Swiss were wary of these potentially dangerous animals. And over time, they exterminated them, species by species. A shame, said nature lovers. And the Swiss government agreed. In 1971, the authorities brought in two pairs of lynx from the Carpathian Mountains and dropped them off in the forest of Canton Obwalden. The big cats liked it. Now, there are about 170 lynx living in different parts of the country. And while bears only visit Switzerland occasionally, wolves have been making a comeback since 1995, when a lone wolf wandered over from Italy. Now there are more than 30 living in the Swiss Alps. It's exciting, say some. It's horrifying, say others, especially farmers and their sheep. In 2016, wolves killed 389 sheep and other farm animals, more than half of them in Canton Valley. In comparison, lynx killed 37. Now there's a movement underway to make Valle a predator-free zone. Thousands of people there have signed a petition demanding that the local authorities keep these wild animals out of their canton. Either the wolf has to go, or the sheep. Wherever there's civilization, there's no place for such predators. The money could be used in a better way, for schools or for health insurance. The animals should have their space, but the farmers should get help to protect the sheep. I'm a physiotherapist and I have my own sheep. I've experienced a wolf attack on my sheep. It's not nice to see the animals suffer. I think we should let the wolf live. It's also a living being. Nature is about eating and being eaten. Wolves should be allowed their living space too. This wolf-free initiative will probably go to a vote within the next three years. And suppose the majority of voters say yes. Then what? Then there will be a new conflict. Because wolves, lynx and bears are protected species under the Berne Convention, a European treaty that conserves wildlife. As a nation, Switzerland has to adhere to it, so it can't make exceptions for individual parts of the country. To minimize any damage done by wolves, Switzerland has measures in place. For example, if an individual wolf kills a certain number of sheep within a certain time frame, he can be shot. And farmers get reimbursed for their losses out of the public coffers. And a federal program promotes livestock guarding dogs as a means of keeping predators at bay. Conservationists insist that wolves, lynx and bears have a role to play in the Swiss ecosystem. They argue that without predators, biodiversity suffers because then there's nobody to keep prey species and their foraging habits in check. And besides, they evolved together. Without wolves, red deer wouldn't have such big ears and long legs. Mm -hmm.